how to install Xiaomi EU custom ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install the Xiaomi EU custom ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisites for this video are you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have twerp recovery installed. I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device because if we run into any encryption issues or any boot loops, you are going to do a format data from TOP recovery, in which case you will lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. All the files which you're going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video. So these are the files which you need. You need the Xiaomi EU ROM zip file itself. This file contains the vendor, the firmware, and it contains recovery as well. Then you need disable force encryption in case your device is not encrypted. Again, you need the disable force encryption zip file if your device is not encrypted. If your device is encrypted, then you do not need this file and if you want to root your device you will need magisk also next thing you need the latest to up recovery image file for your variant of the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro why do we need this we need this because as i mentioned earlier the xiaomi eu rom zip file comes with to up recovery baked in and it might be an older version than what you are running right now so i suggest that you flash the latest version or the version which you are running as of now explicitly now how do you know whether your device is encrypted or not for that we need to go into settings and then you will click on search settings on the top and here you need to search for encryption as soon as you type in e and n you will see you get an option called encryption and credentials i will click on it and as you can see in encrypt phone it tells me that my phone is not encrypted this means that i need to flash the disable force encryption zip file in case for you it says that the phone is encrypted then you do not and i repeat you do not have to flash the disable force encryption zip file next thing you'll go into settings and then we need to remove the password and fingerprint so you will go into password and security and remove your password fingerprint and any face unlock which you have set up once that is done you will go back you will go into me account and remove your me account once that is done you will go back and go into accounts and sync and remove your google account as well once you have removed all the accounts and security measures you need to reboot your device once just to make sure and to double check that all the accounts and security measures have been removed successfully why are we removing all the accounts and security measures well that is because we are switching roms and I do not want you to be locked out of your own device. Once that is done, we need to boot into to up recovery. The first step towards that is to turn off your device. And once you've turned your phone off, you need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo. Once we are in to up recovery, we will click on wipe, advanced wipe, and you need to select Dalvik cache and data. Once you've selected these three partitions, you need to swipe to wipe once the wipe process has finished successfully click on the home button go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the xiaomi eu zip file in case you downloaded it on your phone directly it will be in the download folder in my case i transferred it manually so it is in the root directory all you need to do is select the file and then swipe to confirm flash once xiaomi eu custom rom zip file has installed successfully click on the home button now if your device was not encrypted i repeat if your device was not encrypted you will go into install and then select the disable force encryption zip file in my case my device was not encrypted 
so i will select the file and then swipe to confirm flash if your device was encrypted then you can skip this step and you do not have to flash the disable force encryption zip file once the file has installed successfully click on the home button and now we will go back into install and select install image now you need to navigate to the folder where you have the twerp recovery image file in my case the file is in the eu folder but if you downloaded the file directly on your phone it will be in the download folder so we will go into the eu folder and there it is you can see that i do have the twerp recovery image file in .img format select the file on the next screen we need to select recovery and then swipe to confirm flash once this is done we can go back to the home screen and now all you need to do is click on reboot and then system however if you run into any encryption issues or any boot loops then you will have to boot back into twerp recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till you see the twerp recovery boot logo then you will go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard do note a format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup for now we're going to skip that step so we'll go on the home screen and then click on reboot and then select system and we do have the redmi boot animation looks like xiaomi eu doesn't have its own custom boot animation so we are booting into xiaomi eu custom rom on our redmi k20 pro the first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we have booted into miui 11 xiaomi eu custom rom let me skip the setup real quick and as you can see we do have four themes so you have rhodium default and then you have classic and limitless i'll just click on next it is applying the theme setup is complete click on the next button and then bam there it is xiaomi eu custom rom in the building we can go into settings my device all the specs and there it is xiaomi eu custom rom based on android 10 running like a boss on the redmi k20 pro so there it is peeps that is how you install the xiaomi eu custom rom on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you